Hi guys, it's Leaky and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leaky and I review a lot of activewear, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Um, as you know, sometimes in my Monday videos I do things a little bit differently, so um, today I'll have like another kind of outfit mix and match uh, thing like I did um, a while ago for like some spring summer outfits, but this time um, I put together some outfits inspired by book covers. Um, this came about because I was reading this book and, um, <laughs> and coincidentally when I was sitting on the couch reading this I had this outfit lying next to it and I was like this kind of matches perfectly and I was like maybe I could make this a video. So I've read this book but I haven't read all the books that I've paired my outfits with now so I don't know you know I mean of course it sounds a little ridiculous but if you want to uh, read your book and have a perfectly matched active outfit then you should watch this video <laughs> um, and of course maybe you just want to get some inspiration for some mix and match outfit ideas or for some some new pieces and stuff and of course this is also what you can do what, you know what you can use this video for or if you want to get some book recommendations I guess this also works um I've had like I used to read a lot more books than I did recently um, and my goal for this year was to kind of start reading again and I've been quite successful at that I would say so I've also been very obsessed with buying new books <laughs> and yes I do know libraries do exist um but yeah so I've read some of the books as I said uh, we, I can talk like a tiny bit about the book but like the main thing is still of course the outfit and um, let's start with the book that started it so this is the Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid and apparently I mean she blew up with like all her books recently and there was like Daisy Jones at the Six um, that Amazon had made a like a it was an Amazon show I think at least it's on Amazon for me on Amazon Prime um, and I didn't like that book I don't know I, I gave it three stars if you if you want to be good read friends good reads friends because I use good reads now to kind of track what I'm reading and which books I have already and stuff like that. I will just put the link to my Goodreads profile in the description box and we can be friends. You know, I have I have this many friends right now on Goodreads, which is okay. Um, I'm using it mainly for tracking and, you know, rating so I can remember which books I liked and which ones I didn't. Uh, but yeah, The Daisy Jones and the Six was like a three star for me just because I didn't, I don't know, didn't feel too much for the characters. And with this book, I also was like, why do I care about these characters? But I mean, all in all, it was still pretty good story so this one is a four star for me also I just like the color scheme of this um it's a bit historical fiction but like 80s so it's not like too far back in time I do like historical fiction but like also like the medieval times one I do love Outlander for example um so I've read most of the books I'm still ahead of the TV show, so that's good. Uh, but I also do like the TV show because it's very close to the books. Anyway, this is becoming a little bit of a, of a ramble. Um, so like I said, this outfit kind of just matched perfectly. So let's talk about this outfit, but you can see how it matches, right? Um, you might have seen this outfit quite a lot recently because I've just been apparently obsessed with this. We do have, it's, it's full on Cleo Harper. We do have the Zone Bralette here. So Cleo Harper is an Australian activewear brand. They call all their bras sports bras bralettes and this is a beautiful color called prism pink this sports bra has a zipper here a bit more of a lower neckline thick straps they're not adjustable but they're quite stretchy we have an elastic under the chest that you can't see from the outside here but it is here on the inside from the outside you just see this pretty uh seam detailing all across the bra the fabric is quite sleek but still very soft removal cup pads here as well and then in the back you just have these nice crisscross straps and a nice open back and a little Cleo Harper metal logo here as well. So yeah, pretty. Um, I'm usually not a pink person, but I've, they think it has grown on me. There's gonna be more pink as well uh, coming. And then we have the form leggings in the color Topaz. Um, so very, very pretty, like light minty blue color, not very squat proof. Let's just be very honest about this, not very squat proof. Um, these ones don't have a front seam, they don't have a top seam. We have a little Cleo Harper metal logo here again. And then in the back you have ever so slightly curved glute seams for some glute detailing. Otherwise that's also it in terms of um, detailing. This fabric is a little brushed, so different than the fabric of the sports bra. Not as sleek, still very, very cozy, very stretchy as well, very, very low compression too. And yeah. These colors I think are like a dream anyway together for like spring summer 
But yeah, the book was just, it just fits perfectly. Um, let's see this on. All right, first book, first outfit. So this is my Malibu Rising outfit, I guess. Um, as you can see, you know, it matches really nicely with the book. So you could catch me reading this book in this outfit. Um, not really, but <laughs> I still think it's fun to match this um, and use the book covers as an inspiration. Um, but yeah, let's talk about this outfit. So the sports bra, the zone bralette, the cup pads are quite thick, so you get like a little bit more up here than you usually have. I still don't have a lot up there, but that's okay. <laughs> it's a bit more long lined. Um, and then as I mentioned already in the beginning, you do have an elastic under here, but like you can't really see it that well because it kind of hit it and made it like a bit more seamless on the outside with all the cute seam detailing. Then we have the zipper. It's not gonna expose too much. You're not gonna like, you know, expose your boobs if it accidentally, um, you know, comes unzipped. Then we have thicker straps here, definitely low, low um, neckline. And then in the back, you just have the thick straps crisscrossing. And as always, the straps are a little bit twisted. Let me see. Oof. I think, I think it's, uh, it's okay. Um, but yeah, nice open back as well. And then otherwise you have that gold Kriwa Harper logo there. I think it's quite cute. Um, I just, you know, I just like the color, I like the sports bra itself. I think it's a little bit different than what you usually see out there. Support wise, this is a solid medium support for me. Um, so I don't have any complaints. Of course, if we were with the zipper open, less support, but I also do have a small chest, so just keep that in mind. And the leggings here, they are very low compression. I wish I would have sized down instead of up for in between. Um, but the problem is also they're not squat proof, but I don't think, you know, me sizing up to the medium actually help with that. So you, you just have to embrace it. And I would say size down if you're in between for these. Um, no front seam here. It's kind of a mid to high rise. So not as high as some other leggings that I have. You can see the belly button is just right there. And like, depending on how I move, it might even poke out. So definitely a little bit shorter. My waist is here. So it's a little bit shorter than high waist on me at least. Um, gold logo here. No side seams whatsoever. And then you have the V glue detailing and you can already kind of see the color difference between the waistband and the rest of the leggings. So that tells you that they're definitely, definitely not that squat proof. So yeah, I mean, you don't have to get those in this light color. You could probably also go with like a slightly darker color to kind of match this outfit. Um, just because I have this lying around right here. We do have, you know, it's a similar idea color wise, but it's a little bit darker. This is the Aqua Dream color from Buff Bunny collection. Also still matches this book, you know, if that's your concern, but I'm just saying like you can just go for slightly different colors um, and you'll get a bit more squat proofness out of that as well. So yeah, but I think it's just like, it kind of looks like cotton candy, a little dreamy. And I also think this book cover also was like very, very dreamy. So, you know, it kind of just really works nicely together. And uh, yeah, it's cute, right? Um, yes, let's, uh, let's move on to the next outfit. All right, moving on to a book I haven't read yet, but I'm excited to read. Um, this is The Mountain and the Sea by Ray Naylor. This is a sci-fi book. I'm also into sci-fi books. I read a lot of different things, you know, but um, depending on my, the mood I'm in. I've just recently bought this. And I mean, <clears throat> a lot of times books have like very, very stunning covers, right? Because I don't know how it is for you, but I know it's for me. It's like that and for a lot of other people too. You walk through the bookstore 
and you like like you your eyes catch things like this way more easily than it was like just a plain I don't know brown book envelope basically so uh, I don't know I was intrigued by this found that it was on my want to read list anyway <laughs> and I got it so yeah I'm very excited this is um you know about like some uh, octopus uh, alien whatever things and yeah stunning colors bright pink we have some blue here so for this one I decided to go for a blue pair of leggings and a bright pink sports bra. So let's discuss the pieces here. I have the strap, um, ripped seamless strap sports bra here from Amen in this beautiful sugar rush pink color. Uh, they just recently came out with a tiny pink capsule collection and this piece is uh, one of those. Very, very bright pink, very neon, very bam. And of course, you know, like a full on pink outfit also looks amazing and also would match this uh, this book. But the blue is kind of toning this down a little bit, but also still like super intense. So these are the siren leggings. Sorry, no, these are not the siren leggings. These are the, um, the uh, legacy leggings from Buff Bunny Collection in the color Rio Blue. So this Rio Blue color is like super stunning. It's a little bit purpley but still very like just like very still a true blue um and it's high-waisted we have no front seam on these no top seam and we have this beautiful triple seam glue detailing here too the legacy leggings are some of my favorite leggings from buff bunny collection and yeah i think this is just a stunning color match of course now we also have different textures you have the ripped seamless here on the sports bra whereas you have like a nice um brushed fabric here on the legging but I mean, that's also sometimes fun to have like mixing and matching off textures. And yeah, I think it just goes very well with this book. Let's see it on. All right, next book, next outfit. So this is the uh, the mountain and the sea outfit. And I think it just matches nicely again. Of course, I mean, I, of course I would think that because I put this together, right? <laughs> but yeah, I think it's, uh, it's kind of cute. It's a good match. Um, so this outfit, bright pink up top, Eamon Sports Bra and our Rio Blue Buff Bunny leggings here. So let's talk about the sports bra first. The Sugar Rush color, ripped seamless strap sports bra. Um, they also usually do these with like thicker straps in case you're not a fan of the spaghetti straps, but I don't think of the pink specifically. Anyway, there's so much pink around this year because of the Barbie movie and Barbie core is in, so you'll be able to find a pink sports bra if you don't have one yet. Um, everyone's coming out with these. But this one is like one of my favorites for everyday wear because it's so comfy, even with the thin spaghetti straps. It's just like really nice long lined ripped band underneath. Some detailing here, but not too much. Nice coverage up here, nice coverage on the sides. Um, thin removable cup hats. And yeah, the straps are adjustable, so you can really just make it fit you. Metal Amen logo here as well. And yeah, there's just like the, where is it? For adjusting, down there. Um, so tone and tone, which is like some plastic pink, uh, uh, whatever you call them. <laughs> and then you can adjust it like a normal bra strap, basically. But yeah, these are like, so comfy, so good for everyday wear, support wise, more of a light support. Um, I would say you could go either way if you're in between. There's definitely a little bit of extra space for bigger boobs, but yeah, if you're in between, you could go either way depending on what you prefer fit wise. And since you can adjust the straps, it's always uh, gonna work anyway. But yeah, I like this color. I like this color combination a lot. Um, and the sports bra itself is so cozy. Uh, legacy leggings, some of my favorite uh, leggings of all time. Uh, probably also my favorite Buff Bunny collection legging. No front seam on these. You have a nice high waist. And then, um, you know, I don't get a camel toe with these. Sometimes the waist can be a little too high, so sometimes they fold over a little, but you can just fold them over yourself in case that annoys you. And then we have this triple seam glue detailing here in the back. I think it would be funny if it was like, instead of triple, quadruple, and then, because you have it on both sides, it's like eight, like the eight arms of the octopus here. <laughs> That would be funny. Um, but yeah, like I think it's really nice. I think it's very, very flattering. Um, I really like that triple seam glue detailing also because it keeps the leggings uh, nicely tucked here in the waist. So uh, no complaints there. And lengthwise, these are 7 eighth length on me. And there's also some seam detailing here on the side. So one seam goes down and then it splits up into two seams there. But yeah, I think, you know. It's a cute outfit. I love the colors inspired by this book and uh, let's move on.
All right, next up we have another book that I haven't read yet, but I have read another book by the, by, by the same author. So this is, uh, again, like more historical fiction, but I guess it's more mythology also. Like all the myth mythology is also kind of, I guess not historical fiction because it's, you know, but you get it. This is a mythology uh, inspired book. So this is called Circe by Madeline Miller. Um, I think her book, uh, The Song of Achilles, was quite popular. I also read that one. I thought it was really nice. I'm really into Greek mythology as well. So um, that's why it was right up my alley. And I'm really excited to read this one too. So this one is about Circe, who is also a Greek goddess. And yeah, I just like shiny things in general. So I was also like, really, I like the book cover because it's kind of shiny. And for this one, uh, I do have, you know, like it's not the exact right shape, a uh, shade, not shape, <laughs> exact right shade, uh, but it's a shiny, uh, more coppery legging. And we have a black sports bra here. And um, let's look at the pieces. So this is the Buff Bunny Botanical Sports Bra. Uh, I think I like, you know, this with the with the intricate detailing up top here also kind of matches the detailing here on the book. I mean, it's not the same shapes or anything, but like the idea. Um, so yeah, Buff Bunny Botan Botanical Sports Bra. They don't have this one anymore, but uh, it was, I think it's from two years ago or something. But I really like this one. It feels like it's like a short crop top because you have so much coverage up top here um, with the with the caged, uh, caged uh, detailing here. You have otherwise like a kind of square neckline there, removable cup hats and elastic under the chest. And it's indeed like really ends right under your chest. Um, and then in the back you have full coverage, but I like how, how this detailing looks basically once you have it on. Um, and it's like nice support for me as well. There's no danger of like falling out. And yeah, I just like it a lot. I reach for it quite often. And then we have these um, kind of coppery shiny leggings from Forever 21. Um, so yeah, I've had these for a while as well. They are stretchy, like really nice and stretchy. And even though it's like a shiny material, it's not like, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. Very, very sleek and very cool to the touch, but not uncomfortable. Um, we have a front seam on these, top seam, and also straight across glute seams. That's usually how it goes for like non-active wear brands. <laughs> They're not really specific about their active wear. And uh, we have a little Forever 21 logo here in the back. Um, yeah. Like, I think I got, what size are these? Size medium, yes. Um, but yeah, I like them, I mean, I like shiny leggings in general. I usually don't reach for them very much for like my workouts, but these would still be like nice for a workout anyway because of, you know, how the material feels. Um, and I just, you know, think it looks fun together. So let's see this one on. All right, on to Circe. This is my uh, Greek goddess mythology uh, Circe outfit. <laughs> I think it matches nicely, even though it's not the exact same um tones here because this one is a bit more orange but you know what it's both shiny we have this black intricate uh, sports bra like we have the black intricate design on the book cover here so i think it's it's a good match <laughs> so this is the botanical sports bra from buffering collection like i said they don't really make this anymore i think but it has come back like this is uh, from the second time they brought it back basically or I guess they brought it back the first time, so it's the second time it appeared. <laughs> and yeah, it's definitely a bit more short. We have an elastic right here, so basically right underneath the chest. And then you do have more of a square neckline here, removable cup hats, and this cute detailing up top. And then in the back, it's just nice and simple, kind of really full coverage in a way. Not even racer rack anymore, right? <laughs> support wise, I would say this is a solid medium support, not a high support, but definitely medium. And I, I just like how it looks. It looks really, really good. Nice pair of high waisted legging with, leggings with that. And you're good to go for any workout basically. Um, so these leggings, <laughs> let's move on to that. Quality wise, definitely not as good as some of the other ones we've already seen because they are from Forever 21. You can kind of feel the difference. Um, they don't fit as well, but they're still like, you know, nice and stretchy, surprisingly stretchy for a shiny legging. Uh, we do have a front seam on these. Um, camel toes, not too bad, I think. We have a top seam here too, which actually makes them stay nicely put. And it's not cutting in too much, you know. It's not as high-waisted as the Buff Bunny Legacy legging we just saw, but it's kind of definitely around the same as the Cleo Harper legging, the one, uh, the first ones, the toe pass ones. No side seam here or anything. And then straight across glute seams, with that little Forever 21 logo there. Not like the most flattering, but also not super unflattering, especially because I feel like the shininess always adds a little bit of, I don't know, it just helps, I think. And um, I just, I mean, they, they feel actually quite nice. 
for the fact that these were really not that expensive. And um, yeah, that's the goddess uh, look for this book. All right, I have two more books for you and also two more outfits to go with that. Um, let's talk about this book and this outfit. So this is uh, Bunny by Mona Awad. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, she's Canadian, I think. But so this book is a little weird. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just got intrigued again. Like it's a pink cover, like there's a bunny on it. I like bunnies, so, um, you know, I was like, yeah, okay, I could read that and it sounded interesting on the back and people called this like it's like Mean Girls with you know something else um I don't think it was like Mean Girls <laughs> just uh just saying that I read I read a review on Goodreads that was like just said ha 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 what and I think that kind of describes this book very good but also there's a review gave it five stars and I also give this one five stars because it's just like so weird and I don't know it's just like confusing but also super interesting and yeah, but not like Mean Girls. And I think another review described it also very good as like, I don't know, something of like, maybe there's like some remnants of Mean Girls in there, but also like some, some Stephen King, but like everything on like just a lot of drugs and I don't know, something like that maybe. Um, but yeah, I like this one a lot. Um, you kind of need to be into these type of books, I think. So I, I feel like this one was either hit or miss. So either five stars or one star basically. But yeah, I liked it. And we have some pink here and some bright yellow as well. So that's what I did for this one. Pink sport, um, pink leggings and bright yellow sports bra. So let's talk about the sports bra first. This is the Revolution Sports Bra from Buff Bunny Collection in Tiki Yellow. I don't think they have this particular color in this particular sports bra. Um, but they came back with this color. They came, they always come back with the Revolution Sports Bra. So, um, and again, I mean, these outfit ideas are not supposed to be like, oh, you need this specific piece. It's more like these colors match or just give you an idea that maybe you want to match your book to your outfit, you know? Um, but yeah, so Tiki Yellow Revolution Sports Bra. The Revolution Sports Bra is always super cute. Very flattering for small chests. Maybe not the most supportive for bigger chests, but for small chests, it's really good because we have a square neckline, uh, thick straps. It's a long line sports bra. So we have like, just as not, this is not an elastic, it's just a piece of fabric. And then in the back, it's very, very strappy, very cute. You have this little metal ring up top here. And yeah, just very cute. I like it a lot. And then we do have some bright pink leggings. These are the um, Aim and Rift Seamless Tights, also in Sugar Rush. So you saw the sports bra that matches these leggings earlier for the uh, sci-fi book, The Mountain and the Sea. And like basically, if you wanted a matching set, those are the two pieces here. And um, we have a metal Eamon logo in the front, nice and high-waisted, ribbed, seamless fabric here, no front seam. The waistband is really, really nice, uh, fits nicely, keeps you tucked in. And then in the back, we have um, the glue detailing here. Eamon always does it like really nice, really classy. The seams are also always on top of the glutes, not cutting them off. So that's really nice. And then we do have a seam here in the middle for some glute separation as well. And um, yeah, these have very, very basic leggings, but they're super comfy. They're really nice. They always have fun colors in these. If you're not a colorful person, but you like this type of legging, they also do have black. They have some new tones. So you're going to be happy with that too. And I mean, together, this is like, boom, summer. Neon colors matches this one perfectly. This book is bright and bold. This outfit is bright and bold. And let's just see it on. All right, here we go with the bunny outfit for the bunny book. 
Again, I think, uh, you know, the connection's easily made. We have some nice pink and some nice neon yellow here. Let's talk about the sports bra first. So this is the Revolution Sports Bra from Buffalo Collection in Tiki Yellow, like a bright, bright yellow, which works really nicely with the pink. We have a square neckline. Like I mentioned, I find those really, really flattering for a small chest. Uh, so I find it very flattering for myself. Thick straps here, good side coverage. And then this is just a piece of fabric. So it's just a long line sports bra. You just have a seam underneath here, removable cup pads. And then in the back, it's super nice and strappy. Really, really cute. Very like flattering. And I just like strappy backs in general anyway. So yeah, that's that one. Support wise, I would say from me, it's a solid light to medium support. It's nothing too crazy. Um, but it's good enough for me for most things. And I also don't really, there's no risk of me falling out at the top. I think if you have a bigger chest, there might be a bigger risk. <laughs> so just uh, keep that in mind. These leggings are from Aim and they're the ripped seamless leggings in um, the color Sugar Rush. If you have shopped from Aim before and you do have ripped seamless leggings, these fit the exact same way. Otherwise, I'm just gonna explain it to you. They're nice and high-waisted. You have this ripped seamless waistband here that keeps you nicely tucked in. Metal Aim and logo here, no front seam. And you can really see that there's like this um, ripped texture here. And it's really, really nice and soft and comfy. Stretchy as well. Um, and then in the back, we have those cute, uh, the cute glue detailing here, that nice deep V. It's not like too much in your face, it's just right basically. And the seams also sit nice and high on top of your glutes, so they're not cutting them off. They're just like there, giving them space to breathe. And then, you know, just very, very flattering in general without trying too hard, I think. And of course, also the proper seam here helps a little bit for some glute separation as well. Um, yeah, lengthwise, these are not super tall girl friendly, more for seven, eighth length on me, maybe even a tad shorter. Um, definitely not the shortest leggings because that was the first ones, the toe pass ones from Cleo Harper. Uh, so yeah, but I think you're gonna be okay. It's also not super tight around here. So if they fit a little bit higher up on your calf, it shouldn't be cutting in or anything. But yeah, these are just like very comfy, very cozy, um, very basic, and you can't really go wrong with those. They're not the most sweat wicking leggings, so I probably wouldn't wear them for an intense sweaty workout, but otherwise I think you're good with these. All right, after all the colors, how about some uh, some lighter, um, not so colorful stuff? Uh, we have Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney. You can probably see why I picked up this book. I mean, this is kind of iridescent and shiny. And I was like, yes, um, I haven't read it yet, but I have a feeling this is going to be something I'm going to like. Um, and I mean, I kind of just had to have it like even on the side. Look at this. I mean, I said not so many colors, but like clearly there is a lot of colors and not so many colors too. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really, really excited to read this, but also I have, I have uh, things that match this book perfectly. Um, it's a little bit white, but also just like shiny and iridescent. So this is an old sports bra I have from Reebok, but like it's the one I reach for a lot, specifically for pictures as well, because I mean, look at this. I've never seen anything like it since. So I really don't know why they didn't have more of this, but it's so pretty. It's really like mermaid, my mermaid dreams come like coming alive, basically. It's iridescent, um, like basically you have this iridescent fabric at the bottom and then you kind of have like a thin white mesh 
netting on top and it's just so pretty the sports bra cut itself is also very pretty nice deep v it is long lines you have like a harsh seam here at the bottom which is the only thing i would change about it but it's okay and then in the back you have like more shimmeriness and then you just have like these three straps here in the back it's super pretty um it's not super stretchy so the fabric itself is a little bit more stiff um it still fits nicely uh, it's just a tr like a little bit of a struggle to get it over the shoulders but otherwise it's fine we have removal cup hats in here but i mean like like i said this matches this book perfectly i think you know like i mean look at it it's it's a perfect match and then to go with this i have my uh, shiny Amon leggings in this white color and again matches the book perfectly you can see how it shimmers it's uh you know you, you can see why I, I needed to show this off you know <laughs> this is basically my uh unicorn iridescent dreams coming true and um so the problem is i've worn these outside quite a lot and they've accumulated some dirt that is really hard to wash out sometimes but it's not so right i basically set in mud with these so i'm surprised that they're still this wide after all of that um you can also see like this one knees a little bit but you know i don't care it's fine um they're definitely not very squat proof they're, they're perfect in terms of like being shiny and iridescent and shimmery and i mean this is this is the mermaid outfit basically and together with this book you know it's like just uh yeah iridescent dreams coming true uh let's see this one all right, me and this book are twins, right? Um, beautiful world, where are you? All the iridescent things. And I am also wearing all the iridescent things. And I mean, this is more iridescent than these, but like these are also having this like kind of more colorful shimmer to it. Um, and they're a little bit more white, but you know, some of this book is also a little bit more white. So I think I nailed it, okay? <laughs> Especially the back of the book. I think that's like, I just, I don't know. I just like iridescent things. They're just so pretty, you know? So pretty. <laughs> but let's talk about the sports bra. As I said before, I, like, I've never seen anything like it since, and I really wish they had more of these. I don't know. Um, yes, it's a little bit hard to get on because of this tight seam that goes around under your chest, basically. So this one is the tight part. This is actually okay. So this is just a fabric band, and then you have a little bit of a seam here at the end as well. But this seam on your chest keeps you tucked in but like it also keeps you kind of nearly locked out of the sports bra nice deep v here in the front as well it's just like so shiny then we have the straps here so two thin white straps and then here in the back you just have this triangle well not triangle this triple like trident like seam and basically this is one strap and then the other one just comes in here to connect there but yeah more of a long line sports bra just like the best color and you can wear this iridescent color also you don't need to wear it with white you can wear it, pair it with a lot of different colors just simply because there's a lot of different colors in here already and then we do have the Amon leggings here the shiny ones they don't make these anymore but again I mean this is performance fabric they are quite light color definitely not squat proof I got a little bit of dirt on them because I like to wear these for yoga pictures and since it's white I mean at some point it's really hard to get all the dirt out of there so you just have to live with that if you want to wear them outside in the mud uh, maybe don't do that <laughs> yes we have no top seam we do have a front seam though I do get slight camel toe with these as well metal aim and logo here and then you do have some ever so slightly curved glute seams here in the back and nice and high seams that sit on top of your butt and of course you kind of see the difference between the waistband and the color of the leggings here so yeah just keep that in mind <laughs> these are seven eight to full length depending on how you pull them um, and these are quite tight fitting so very compressive performance legging um, but I know if I go for a size medium in these then I have gaping at the waist so that's why I prefer to still size down with these waist is also still nice and high um, and yeah, this is my beautiful world. Where are you? A reticent outfit here, matchy matchy with the book.
Alright, it's conclusion time. Like I said, this was like just a little fun thing inspired by me seeing that, you know, some of the book covers match some of my outfits perfectly, uh, some of my active wear outfits. So if you want to just, you know, go to the park and look like your book, <laughs> you can do that. Um, but otherwise, like I said, it's more like just to give you some ideas of things you can pair together. Um, just, you know, maybe it's fun to get inspired by some of your favorite books for some active wear outfits. Um, yeah, if you want to talk books, or if you want to talk active wear, leave your comments down below. Um, as I said, I will try to put my good links, good links, good read profile, good reads profile in the description box and then we can be friends um, on our reading journeys. And yeah, I don't know. I hope you like this idea. I hope you like this, uh, this video. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of that. Um, let me know if you have any book recommendations. As I said, I like, I guess I like weird books sometimes. I like sci-fi, I like historical fiction. Um, but also I'm up for a good romance book sometimes, you know, to, to, to just uh, turn off my brain a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm curious if you, have any, if you have any suggestions, let me know if you want to see more of this type of video, also let me know. Uh, I have a lot more books in my to be read pile and also in my, um, in my I've just read a pile and all that kind of stuff so I could probably put together more outfits if you're interested in that otherwise I hope you enjoyed this video um yeah if you have any feedback any suggestions just leave it down in the comments below if you want you can also follow me on Instagram and you can also DM me there but be aware I'm way more likely to see your comments here on YouTube um yes so I'm at a loss for words talking about all these books and the outfits and everything anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up also, if you haven't done that yet, you can subscribe to my channel so you get notified about all the new videos that are coming out. And that is it. I will see you next time. Bye.